Now just look at this. I went from providing a single prompt to a bolt.new fork and I was capable of generating all the various sorts of components to generate this beautiful web app which is a habit tracker and this is where you can add habits where you have various categories from uh, productivity, mindfulness, relationship, career. So if I want to create a career habit such as uploading a video a day i can set this for every single afternoon and i can create the habit and now if i create this habit you can see that there's a progress bar the best streak available and the completion rate so if i have this over here i can give this a completion and you can see that it makes the changes over here this was all capable by having a single prompt sent in to the open source bolt.new fork that cole had created so recently, I have been getting a lot of people messaging me on making videos on Bolt.new alternatives. My last video, in fact, definitely got a lot of liking because it was a great open source alternative to Bolt.new. Now, there is this new project that was created by a nice new YouTuber named Cole. He simply forked the Bolt.new repository and made it completely open source and added a nice few features to it. He's naming this project Autodev. It's not just him, it's a lot of you guys who probably contributed to grow the open source project who have added onto the project, so huge respects to y'all. But essentially, this fork is completely open source, local, and hooked to open source models. These new features consist the ability for you to select LMs for each prompt, supporting models like OpenAI, you have Olama, OpenRouter, Gemini, as well as Grok. It's easily for you to extend to other models via Versal AI SDK, and instructions for running locally and adding models are even provided within this repository. You, like you can see within this list over here, you have integrations of various sorts of providers like OpenRouter, Gemini, you have DeepSeek, Mistral, OpenAI Like, as well as many other new features like auto-generating Olama models for what is downloaded, filter models by providers, download projects as a zip file, improvements to the main bolt.new prompt, you have the ability to sync files, one-way sync to local folders, containerize the application with Docker for easy installation, which is something that I really love. You can publish projects directly to GitHub, which is really useful for a lot of people. And there's a lot of new features that they plan on integrating fairly soon. For the people who do not know what Bolt.new is, I definitely recommend watching my previous video on it, which I'll leave a link to in the description below, as well as all the other links that I use in today's video. But basically, Bolt.new is an AI-powered coding agent that helps you build full-stack applications like none other. It's powered to mostly create web development projects in your browser, which allows you to run prompts, run edits, you can deploy full-stack applications all directly within your browser. It's a great alternative to Claude, v0 klein and many others where you don't need to install packages run backends or edit code so you may be wondering how can you actually install this well there's a couple of prerequisites that we need to get started with beforehand which is where you need to make sure that you have git installed note.js uh, python you need to make sure that you have the pmpm PM command you need to have vs code installed and you can also install this with docker which is another way for you to easily get started it's super easy so if you want to go forward with this installation method you can install it with docker but in this case i'm going to be showcasing how you can go through with the main installation method so first things first make sure you have the prerequisites and once you have that fulfilled open up your command prompt and copy this command which is the clone the repository so simply go back into your command prompt and paste this in and click enter now since i already have it cloned what you want to do is go into the bolt.new any lm folder and that's by typing in cd bolt.new dash any dash lm and click enter once you are here we can then proceed forward by installing the prerequisites this is by simply copying the pnpm install command and pasting it within that directory. So this will start installing all the necessary packages and once it's finished doing so, we can then provide the API keys. So once it's finished, I'll be right back. Next, you want to open your IDE and you want to simply open up the bolt.new any LM repository which you just recently cloned and head over to the .env.example file. Now what I want you guys to do first is simply click on the uh, right click on this file and get rid of the .example and then what you can do is start providing the API key of the model or the provider you want to utilize. So if you want to use Grok or OpenRouter, provide the API keys, 
OpenAI, Anthropic, and etc. You can utilize DeepSeek as well as Olama. So this is a way for you to utilize free open source models without paying for any API key. So simply provide the key of your preference and then we can then move forward. Once you have pasted this in, just simply click on file and click on save and then we can get started. After you have set your API keys, you can simply start the application with the pnpm run dev command. So simply copy this and then go back into your command prompt and paste this in. This will start this up on your local host within a couple of seconds and you're going to be able to start interacting with bolt.new. So you can go ahead and copy this and then you can paste it into your browser. And now you're going to be able to access bolt.new locally with the ability for you to choose any of your models that you have basically provided the api key for so in this case i have provided the anthropic api key so that i can access cloud 3.5 sonnet which is the best coding based model that is out there now you can ask it to do anything like build a to-do app in react so it can simply just send into this prompt and it will then provide me the answer for it so let's actually click on this and there we go i had to actually refresh to make it work and there we go we have it started the progress to generate this react uh to do app and we can see that it's starting to run the commands for you autonomously generating all the code with all the different folders like how you would with composer as well as with klein and now we can see that within a couple of seconds we're gonna have this shown as an artifact like uh, Claude's artifact on the right hand panel where it's going to preview the generation for us and there we go we have the to-do app finally generated this was something that it generated with a single prompt and installed the necessary commands and it did this all autonomously now you can see that you can add things like make a youtube video and then you can add this to the to-do app and this is a functional app that it was able to create now i'm not saying that this is or like a really complex app but it's a really basic app that it was capable of doing within a couple of seconds but now let's go ahead and generate more things with bolt.new so i don't know what to really generate so i asked to generate a mario clone and usually lms really aren't capable of generating any sort of game and if it is capable of doing anything it generates a snake game which is something that many of you guys are bored of uh, seeing so in this case i'm asking it to generate a, a mario style game using javascript and the fraser game framework and they basically told me that this game will have some cool futuristic elements while maintaining the classic uh, platformer feel let's call it cyber mario which is something that i told it to create a futuristic mario game so now we can see that's creating all the necessary folders like the packages the index and we can see all the scenes are starting to be created so on the left hand side you can see all the different uh, files that have been generated and it's going to start installing all the packages that are necessary now once it has finished installing everything we're going to then be able to play this within the preview also something to note is that you can also change the provider mid-generation meaning that if you want to utilize any of these other providers you can simply choose them so that you can use it for different purposes for example someone might want to use the open ai 01 preview for longer uh, responses as well as for better logical reasoning answers so you can switch between these two different models for generations and right now we have something like this generated it's not finished yet but once it has finished generating this game i'll be right back so it looks like it has finished generating so i simply clicked on the download code and i downloaded it as a zip file so you can see over here i have a project.zip file that has been downloaded you can also sync files you can toggle the terminal you can even have it so that you can push this to github so other people can even contribute to it and this is the flexibility that you get with this new volt.new fork all right guys this is the game that it generated and look at this guys this is quite surprising because you have really good animations for the person running around you have to jump around to get all these coins and once you get these stars i mean you can then complete the level but this is a really really basic app that was generated so now let's get a little bit more complex let's have it create a full stack app for tracking daily habits the front end should use react and the back end should be built with node.js serving as an api the app should allow users to add update and delete habits for the day store the data temporarily on the server using an in-memory storage no database is needed using basic styling with css or tailwind css 
process and provide instructions for running the app locally. So we can see right away that it has started to utilize uh, React and it is starting to come uh, create all the components that are necessary so all the files have been created and, and it is starting to create all of these different uh, necessary components now just look at this i went from providing a single prompt to bolt.new fork and i was capable of generating all the various sorts of components to generate this beautiful web app which is a habit tracker and this is where you can add habits where you have various categories from uh, productivity mindfulness relationship career so if i want to create a career habit such as uploading a video a day I can set this for every single afternoon and I can create the habit. And now if I create this habit, you can see that there's a progress bar, the best streak available and the completion rate. So if I have this over here, I can give this a completion and you can see that it makes the changes over here. This was all capable by having a single prompt sent in to the open source bolt.new fork that Cole had created. But that's essentially it for today's video on this new alternative to bolt.new this is a simple fork by cole and he did a great job as well as the community in developing these cool new features that enhance the original copy of bolt.new now i'll leave all the links that i use in today's video in the description below i hope you enjoyed it make sure you follow me on the patreon so that you can access different ai subscriptions as well as our private discord completely for free make sure you follow me on twitter a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas